So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time talking to you about our latest mission in NASA that involves the rover that you see me sitting in front of. So that rover has a name and it launched on July 30th on its way to Mars, as we mentioned. Um, but between the time we built that rover and the time it launched, we actually put out a contest for children around your age to actually name the rover for us. So we asked a bunch of school kids across the country to write an essay to come up with a name for our rover. And the name they came up with was Perseverance. So now the Mars rover is known as Perseverance. It is in flight now um, and is due to land on Mars February 18th, 2021. So we are super excited at NASA for that landing. It's gonna be broadcast all over the world. Um, you'll be able to view it from your computer screens when the time comes. So let me give you a little bit more information about Perseverance and what it's going to do and, and the reason it's going to Mars. Researching uh, the terrestrial body of Mars, the planet of Mars over the last 20 or so years, there's a couple of things that, that became clearer as these human beings that we wanted to learn more about. You know, there's been evidence that at one time there was liquid water on Mars, which is fascinating because liquid water is one of the key ingredients that you need for life, like our lives, like human beings, like plants, like bugs, like tigers and bears, and all that needs a solvent like water to survive for those things to come together. That means at one point life could exist on Mars at some time in the very distant past. So we're sending Perseverance to Mars to do a little bit of research on our behalf. It's going to dig in the soil, it's gonna collect rocks, and it's going to survey the land to see if there's little tiny things called microbes that still exist in the soil that could give us an idea of whether complex life existed on Mars at one time in the past. So it's going to land on Mars, scoop up some dirt, and it has a science kit on board that it's gonna to use to analyze that dirt and then send that data back to planet Earth for scientists to look at it and say, hey, you know what? Here's something that indicates there may have been life on Mars and that will change the way we view life um, as we know it on planet Earth, knowing that life could exist um, anywhere else in our solar system will be a really huge deal. So we're super excited about the work that the rover's going to do. And at some point, we're actually going to collect rocks that we're going to store in a rover and we're going to have it sent back to Earth uh, in Mars sample return um, about 10 years from now. And we're super excited about that as well. Just a little bit more about the rover. It's actually the size of an SUV. So it's about 10 feet tall, about nine feet wide. It has a long neck and a robotic arm that it can, that can peer over the horizon. Um, and so it's a really, really big, uh, big robot that we're gonna send. So it's gonna take, um, take a lot of time and a lot of careful planning to send it down on Mars. Here's something interesting about the Perseverance rover that a lot of people don't know. It is not going by itself. Attached to the top of Perseverance is a small helicopter called Ingenuity. It's gonna act as a drone. So it's gonna launch from Perseverance and do a loop around the area to make sure that when Perseverance is driving, it's not gonna fall off a cliff. It's not gonna run into a bunch of rocks. So it's gonna act as a companion uh, for Perseverance to look out for it. Um, so we're excited that we're both going to have Perseverance and Ingenuity, the Mars helicopter, going to Mars and doing some research for us. So it's a pretty exciting time.